Good morning to one and all. Today we will see least mean square algorithm from unit 2. Already you know uh, adaptive filtering algorithm. So which is having two steps. One is filtering step and another one is a adaptive step. Now we will see the LMS algorithm. What is an LMS algorithm? LMS algorithm or least mean square algorithm which is used to adjust the weights in the ADI line. ADI line stands for adaptive linear neuron, adaptive linear element. So, all the previous class, we learned about how to design a dynamic system. Same way, the LMS algorithm, which focuses on filtering process and adaptive process which is developed by Widrow and Hoff in 1960. So already in previous class while designing a dynamic system the dynamic system influenced by an algorithm and based on that algorithm only we are getting the desired output and error signal all those things we learn. The same way one of the algorithm for the uh, Network is LMS algorithm, least mean square algorithm. The same adaptive filtering technique is applied here. So from this diagram, we can understand that we have a N input features applied across the N different uh, neurons and each neuron is applied to an weight. For example, the first neuron, if you take the first neuron, the weight of the first neuron is W0 and input feature of the first neuron is X0. Likewise, second neuron W1, the input feature X1 and so on. Then how, what is that uh, Summation denotes, yes, not to get the output, we need to sum all the weights with the input features. So the formula is summation i equal to 1 to n xi wi. Then we get the output yi. And the yi which is compared to the Decide output DI. In previous class, we have seen what is DI, what is DI, what is uh, YI, everything. DI is the error signal, YI is the current output, DI is the desired output. The difference between the desired output and the current output is known as the error. So, this is what the dynamic system adaptive filtering technique. Here in the system, we are using the same adaptive filtering technique with the help of LMS algorithms. Now we see the uh, exact uh, scenario of the uh, dynamic system. So we are ha having uh, three input features and uh, three different weights applied across the uh, neurons across the system. And uh, we are using the initial biases one. And we are uh, doing some calculation that is summation of uh, i equal to 1 to n xi wi. Uh, you know xi is nothing but i differs from 0 to n wi i differs from 0 to n. Then finally we get output yi. Then the error signal is generated based on the desired output. So, the difference between the desired output and the current output is known as the error signal. Now, we see how do we update the weights. So, least mean square algorithm. So, based on the instantaneous value, energy function is given by E of W, which is equal to 1 by 2 E square of N. Here, the En is denoted as error signal measured at time N. So, already you know 
the adaptive filtering technique based on the influence by the algorithm based on time interval. So here the error signal is measured at the time n. The energy function is given by Ew which is equal to 1 by 2 e square of n. And LMS algorithm operates with a linear neuron. One thing with a linear neuron. Hence the error signal is expressed as already I said E of n which is equal to desired output D of n minus then the current output. What? How to calculate the current output? Yi? Yes. Yi can be calculated with the help of Xi into Wi. Same way here the Xn into Wn. So Xn at different time interval t. That is what x power t of n then wn. This is the current output minus desired output. Then we get the error signal n. See xi is nothing but input vector which ranges from 1 to n. Again wi is the weight vector which ranges from 1 to n. Then what about the gradient estimate? Gradient estimate denoted as do epsilon of w do w which is equal to error signal e of n into do e of n divided by do w. So the error signal, the differentiation of error signal with respect to weight into the error signal is known as the gradient estimate. Gradient is nothing but adjustment. Okay, the weight adjustment, how much weight we need to adjust. So that will be calculated. That here we are calculating gradient estimate. Then now we make it as a short. Uh, as you all know, the difference of uh, differentiation of error signal with respect to weight, which is equal to minus xn, that is input vector xn minus xn. Difference with difference of input is known as the do e n by do w. Then the final gradient estimate, which is equal to minus xn into e n. This is for the final formula for gradient estimate. Next, we will calculate the actual gradient. Actual gradient is nothing but g of n. g cap of n, which is equal to, already we have estimated the gradient, do epsilon w by do w. So here, just we are adding the cap for actual gradient, which is equal to minus x n e n, gradient approximation. Now, the formula of the steep and prison method is nothing but the new weight. So, you, we calculated the error signal. Based on the error signal, we calculated the adjustment that is gradient approximation. Then, how we are applying the adjustment to the weight? The new weight, the adjusted weight, new weight which is equal to Wn plus 1 which is equal to old weight minus neta g of n. This is the approximation value. This approximation value is adjusted to the old weight. That is the formula denotes W n minus 1, which is equal to W n minus neta g of n. This is from the steepest descent method formula. Then we can formulate the LMS algorithm. Already you know LMS algorithm formula, how to calculate the gradient approximation. Just apply the gradient approximation into the uh, steepest descent algorithm, we will get the LMS algorithm. Cap Wn plus 1, which is equal to cap Wn plus neta g of n. Instead of g of n, we can write x of n plus e of n because already one minus signal minus sign is there. Now the gradient approximation uh, from the LMS algorithm is uh, negative symbol. So both we are applying here, we will get the positive value. Then the correct LMS algorithm denotes. The new weight is equal to the old weight plus the difference in output. So this is the difference output. So that will be added to the old weight. Then the new weight is adjusted. So that is for the final result. So in LMS algorithm, we are applying the filtering and adaptive process as per uh, we studied in the last class. And also how to calculate the gradient approximation that will be we learned here. So just recalculate, 
recollect all those things. What is an LMS algorithm? This mean square algorithm. And what is RD line? And uh, how the dynamic system behaves. Then how we are calculating the error signal and how we are adjusting the weights. Then what is the energy function based on that energy function? How we are uh, def def defining the error signal? Then what is input vector? What is weight vector? Then how to estimate the gradient vision? Then gradient approximation. Then finally, how to adjust the weight in the LMS algorithm? That's all. I hope you clearly understand what is an LMS algorithm. Thank you. Thank you, Ananda. Next class, we'll see in next topic.